Brangelina might be over. Conan, oh, no. Conan's last show. Got some thoughts on that. How did Ian uh, not get that scoop about Isn't Angelina? The paper? What? He gave the scoop on our show. About Angelina and yes. Brad breaking up? He did say that. When he came in to promote the book. Did he? Yeah. Were you, were you here I, when he promoted the book? I don't listen to him. He, was, he, he, <laughs> he, promoted, he came in yeah. to promote the Brangelina book and I said that. within, I, I forgot what his time frame was, but he said something like within six months they're done. Really? Yeah, yeah. he nailed it. I, go, I'm stunned. I mean, if, if how could someone so annoying be so on the mark? See, Steve, that's probably what you should have in front of us today. Yes! If everyone's talking about Brangelina and this guy was on our show saying they're going to break up, that should be right in front of me. They was doing a webcam, girl! <laughs> <laughs> I'll get right on that after I get right off this cock. <laughs> Ian Halper nailed hey, it. As much as he's a fucking pain in the ass, the guy fucking knows his shit. Yep. Damn. He, he, he had exclusives on uh, Michael Jackson that came true. Now the Brangelina stuff looks like it's coming true. He says Tiger Woods. He heard the audio of the sex tape. He said, what was the name? She Lazy Dog? She kept calling Tiger in the videotape? Yeah, yeah. Or something uh, Snowball or... No, not... He no. kept saying to us Snowball or something. Or something. I or forget Snow Coning or something. Oh, yeah, I don't know. No, Ian Halpern's quoted on like page two or three in the paper today. Is he? Over this brand uh, and Angelina stuff. You would think we'd have the clip when he was on our show, but that ah. means... That means... Ah. That means... F fill in your own fucking... Blank Asshole. Right <laughs> Opie and Anthony, stay there. Sphincter. Hey, uh, we got a big star on the uh, hotline. What? He's our pal. He's our friend. It's Ian Halpern, everyone. Ian. Hey. Good morning, guys. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? What's, What's up? Good. Look it up. Look it up. Pussy on the internet. It's everywhere. Look it up. <laughs> Ian. Man, you do me better than myself. Yeah. yeah. You know? Somehow I doubt that. <laughs> you just put a... I, I was walking um, in New York last week, and somebody was doing that same imitation, but obviously not as well as you. Obviously. Let me tell you something. The bottom line here... Wait, wait, wait. You slow down a little bit. I just want to say it's it's easy to do you, Ian. You just, you, you just add a little douche to your voice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Bill Nicolini said, too. It's See, he went... to do me. Um, so, but, oh. Ian... Ian, you're in the paper today. Congratulations. And you know, it's it's some of the stuff you said on our show, but no one was paying attention, I guess. That this yeah, branch... you know, they all always, you know, they always make fun of me when I make these predictions, just like Jackson. I, and I made this Brangelina prediction on your show. And here, here's the deal. I've had over a thousand media requests my agent has in the last 24 hours. And again, I'm giving this to you guys exclusively. <laughs> all right, Ian, we got to slow you down again. There's no way you got a thousand requests. Jimmy no, just looked really, up. Over 1,000 media requests to my agent in the last 24 hours. Does that hours. include blogs? Because, you know, the, the thing is, I'm a journalist just who's known talk, all over Europe. They always call me all the Europeans, the yeah. uh, Americans, and the Canadians. See, I'm, in, I'm international, guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, they've been going nuts, but here it is. Google it. Google it. A thousand media requests. Let, let, <laughs> let, let me say this once again, exclusive to Opie and Anthony. Yeah. Uh, and here's the deal. Yes. Uh, what I'm saying is Brad Pitt will follow the script of his good buddy Guy Ritchie during uh, this whole um, affair. And he's during his own impending, uh, who, Guy Ritchie during his own impending divorce to Madonna when the couple repeatedly denied the story until they made the official announcement. That's what Pitt is going to follow here. And here's the way, here's how it's going to play out. I think the brand is going to appear in public probably in the next week, sending the public the message that the rumors are totally false. And the, But the difference is here, the couple isn't married. So Angelina can't get herself photographed in public without her ring, as is customary in these Hollywood breakup scenarios. But as I predicted on your show and in my book, you'll soon start... Uh, seeing an escalation in these stories, some even in the mainstream press, and uh, some citing unnamed sources as that Brad's drinking and pot smoking has gotten way out of control. And this couple is toast. I spoke to one of uh, a, a mutual friend I have with Brad Pitt yesterday. He says he, he assured me Pitt wanted out of the relationship for at least six months. Wow, wow done, huh? They're toast. Mm. Now, there's a rumor that Angelina there was having an affair to the point where uh, some maid, I think, saw, uh, Jimmy would appreciate this, plastic sheets. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, well, apparently, yeah, she had a guy up in her hotel room. Uh, look, I wasn't in the bedroom with, uh, you know, but she came out recently and said they have an open relationship. That was really uh, the telltale sign that it's all over. Brad Pitt would never put up with such a charade, and uh, they're toast. Whether or not she's had an affair with this guy, I know she's definitely had women up in her bedroom in the last few months. Oh, Mm. There's no doubt the about that. My, my sources have told me that, who are in the house. In the house. Mm. So once again, exclusive to Opie and Anthony, yes, the Pidgey-Jolie relationship is over. They may try to uh, put up some sort of facade, just like Guy Ritchie and Madonna. When they split, you know, they denied the split. They appeared in public, and a few weeks later it all played out. And uh, as we know, they were toast. And that's what we're going to see here. What about uh, uh, Jennifer Aniston? For, for the females listening to our show today, and they're all Team Jen, does she get back together with Brad Pitt? Uh, no, I think Jennifer Aniston needs a, a, a good night in the sack with Anthony. That's what we'll wait for. <laughs> uh, there we go. You know, she has no sex life whatsoever. I, I, Me, I you, Betsy. Sexuality. You know, there's something wrong there with Jennifer Aniston. Well, I, well I Ian, do you want to... Well, Oh, boy. Ian, here he goes. This is our theory. On <laughs> no, this, this is Opie's theory. This is our theory, and you can run with this with all the media. Are you doing we like we and the Jets yeah, and yeah, we yeah. and our? And this, is, all right, this is my theory, uh, Ian. Opie, I think Jennifer Aniston has a smelly pussy. God damn well, I kid you not. People have told me that. And again, <laughs> Listen to this guy. <laughs> no, Google it. Google it. Google it. I swear smelly you, pussy. Jennifer you'll Aniston. Say you'll, you'll say it. You'll say it. You'll say it. Jennifer Aniston has a smelly pussy. It smells like, what was that fish from earlier? Bu- Buckle off. Buckle off. Google it. When I wrote my book, she did not dissuade anyone from cooperating with me in her camp, and several people did tell me that. Brad didn't like going down on her. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you, you might be kidding, but I think there's a bit of truth there. The whole cast of Friends said the same thing. <laughs> Smell. And, uh, you know, we haven't seen Jennifer Aniston for some reason uh, since Brad Pitt hook up with uh, in a serious relationship. It's all been, you know, mm-hmm. smoke and mirrors with her. And, so, uh, so, so you're saying my dumb theory might be right, that Jennifer Aniston has a smelly pussy. Well, when I wrote the book, several people in her camp came up with the exact same theory. <laughs> What? There. Does it smell like a loot fist? Well, who else? Ha, who else has she been with? What's his name? Do we know? Uh, what, what? John Mayer. John Mayer. Why can't we ever talk to John Mayer anymore? He got too popular. Yeah, he got too big for us. We, can it we, happens. Can we like just ask him one question? I would love Dude, to. Dude, was it or wasn't it? I and that would, would love settle, to ask. That will settle the whole thing. I would love yeah, to ask Vince that. Vaughn. Apparently, Vince Vaughn ran for his life the second he went down on it. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. How do you not like Ian? Come on, Vince Vaughn. Google it. And I got to tell you, people either love you or hate you uh, as far as uh, you coming on our show. I was going to say people either hate him or despise him. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, but I'm not running some sort of popularity contest. I'm just trying to Really? Get... There's some people out there that have been turned, though, Ian, is what I'm saying. And all kidding aside, yeah. I stand by you know this exclusive I gave you this morning. They're going to play it out exactly like Richie and Madonna. Their denials are going to... You know, be flying, but I, as I said on your show several weeks ago, this couple's toast, and uh, they're not going to last. Mm. Angelina, is, is, she's just a lunatic, huh? Well, you know, she has tried to clean up her image. I give her that, and I do believe her humanitarian efforts are sincere. But she whoa, whoa! If they were sincere, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold. Ian, we got to have a conversation, not a monologue here. If she is a humanitarian, why didn't she show up in that uh, the Haiti thing? Well, that, that's right down her fucking uh, uh, right down her hairy box, right well, down her uh, alley there in her wheelhouse. In her wheelhouse, uh, well, per se. Angelina is the type of chick. Sometimes she's just got to shut her mouth and just open her womb. And I think it was one of those uh. days. You know, th- she fell out with Brad Pitt, and there was no way they were both appearing on that show. And Clooney's very tight with Pitt for years, so. So he had to have one or the other, and obviously it was Brad Pitt. Hmm. Okay, that makes uh, perfect sense. But she would like to, you know, help out Haiti. I'm sure. I'm sure she would like to adopt half the country. Yeah, to you help know, out. look, she, that's Angelina Jolie. She six kids involved. Of course, the relationship. But Pitt had no idea what he was getting himself into here. He's never had one child before, and all of a sudden he adopts a whole, uh, you know, a whole tribe. Brad Pitt and has he, six kids. <laughs> 
What's <laughs> wrong with him? He was like this Hollywood stud, and he wakes up, what, five years later? Yeah. He's got six fucking six kids. Six kids, and people hate, uh, uh, they hate each other now, apparently. Yeah. And it's a Sunny D commercial in his house. Unbelievable. Uh, I, I said mean, it. Again, in the kids, that's been the big, the big problem, because... And I admire them. They've tried to do this secretly behind the scenes and uh, look out for the best interests and the welfare of the children instead of running this through a whole public, you know, uh, yeah. a whole public charade here. And they, they've done that, but uh, there are six kids, and uh, I hope the welfare of the kids are going to be looked after. But uh, with Angie Jolie, you never know what's going to happen. See, one day... She's, you know, Mother Teresa, and the next day uh, she's, she's just the devil. That's how she works, and that's what Pitt couldn't put up with her temperamental attitude. It just drove him, wow. his family, his mm -hmm. friends over the edge. And, and, and just look at him today. One picture's worth a million words. Yeah. yeah. Million? I want to thank Ian Halpern for calling up and giving us exactly what we could have read in the paper today. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just amazing. But he's exclusives. credited in it, too. You know, he's credited for saying those things. <laughs> Give us something that's not in the paper. What, do you have anything on uh, Tiger Woods? Any, uh, any new info? Uh, more women should be coming out. Apparently, I, I will say he's had well over 100 women on the side. Nice. No, I mean, well that's over. horrible for We've Tiger Woods. We've seen about that's 12 awful. or 15. It's, uh, <laughs> there's dozens more. Dozens more. Okay. Any, uh, any hint of him and Jennifer Aniston hooking up? Ooh. Oh. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I don't <laughs> that would cure I, I don't think Google it. That would cure him of the pussy after he gets <laughs> that smelly Jennifer Aniston pussy. You are speculating. Ian is backing me up. He's the king <laughs> of this shit. <laughs> right, Ian? Hey, look, you know, sometimes, but the thing is, my stuff comes true. I predicted Jackson. Unfortunately, I predicted Jackson's death to the day. Six well, not to the to day. The day. With the West Coast time conversion into this one, <laughs> on your show, I predicted. Google it. Google it. Google it. Google it. I do this is because I'm able to get the story that no one else can get. I get into their camps. I get into their homes. Wait, wait. You know, sometimes <laughs> I get into them. What? Wait, we, what did Danny find? <laughs> Danny found something that's entitled, Jennifer Aniston might smell really, really bad. And well, it's, it's an article here. And, dude, uh, I'm telling you, we started this rumor. Come on. We did yeah, it as really, a goof like a year ago. Stink people have said that in the past. Either they have, Jennifer huh? Aniston, Rosario Dawson, or some other chick is a complete and utter stink pot, Ooh. according to uh, Sex and the City hunk Jason Lewis. I guess he went out with the uh, two of them. Said uh, 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 when asked uh, whether a woman's physical attributes had ever been a deal breaker for him, Mister Hotness admitted a past girlfriend sent him running for fresh air. He says I was in a particularly malodorous uh, girl uh, with a particular malodorous girl once, beautiful but really stinky. She had every body odor. I remember thinking, "Your arms stink. Your breath stinks. Oh God." Even your hair stinks. I had no idea what to do. I remember asking a female friend, what do I do? Slip her acid filia? I don't know. When I cook for her? I guess that's some kind of... Uh, that cleans out yeah, the pussy. Pitt couldn't go down on her. It's the bottom line. <laughs> he told that to friends. He just could not even think of that. The bad no, breath would kill me, but the vagina smelling a little strong and the armpit odor would be fucking great. The breath I can't handle. Dude, wow, that's whoa, whoa, amazing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's, have you ever had a bad pussy for real? A, a real not bad... Just, not like just a, a, a sweaty, uh, they just worked out type. I'm talking... Yeah, I've had a couple of I'm bad ones, which I don't like. Cheesy pussy. is disgusting. But I doubt I'm, you... I'm sure Norton's had a couple of... Oh, dude, you have no idea. I've had some fucking... I've had ones that were like <laughs> dribbling <laughs> white stuff. It, it was awful. It was like a <laughs> Greek salad. <laughs> That's that's almost. Uh, 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 I'll tell you one thing. I once had one in Bulgaria, of all places. I, I ran for my life. <laughs> yeah. Google it. Google it. Bulgaria. <laughs> it says there. Really uh, dirty, smelling pussies in Bulgaria. Ian Halpern, stinky pussy, in Bulgaria. <laughs> Bulgaria. Google, Google, it. Google it. Google it. Google it. <laughs> uh, Jordan from Scran PA. Well, why don't you continue with your radio show there, Ian? Saddam was saying a blowjob, I remember saying, then, then going down on this woman again. Mm, did you? <laughs> no. All right. Uh, Jordan from uh, Scranton says, wait, Opie, are you suggesting that Jennifer Aniston's box smells worse than the Perkins waitress pussy? <laughs> oh, wow. What do you Has think's been. worse, Ian Halpern? The Perkins waitress that Tiger Woods was allegedly with, or Jennifer Aniston's box? Well, uh, no, I think Barbara Walters. 
Uh, you know, I, yeah. I, I, I think if I'd have to take Aniston or Walters, I, I, I'd still go down on Aniston. Would you let's let's slow down a little bit? Would you would you eat Barbara Walters' uh, box? Oh, geez, Jesus Christ, Obi, stop even asking that, Jimmy. Would you? Would What's you, that, Barbara Walters? Would you go down on? It? Nah, not uh, not not since her last Richard Pryor interview. I, uh-huh. I, would, I would eat Babs's pussy in '78, which she had Pryor on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but '78. That's 30 years. Yeah, exactly. I have no desire oh, to, to eat her box now. Back. <laughs> maybe maybe I'd be a cuckold and liquor cream pie after she fucked the married senator. <laughs> However many mind, years man. how many years ago that was. She inter- uh, she interviewed Castro, right? I don't know. Yeah. Did yeah. she? I don't. Yeah. Then you got Then you got a liquor box. And you got. Jonathan imagine. interviewed nothing Castro. Probably. My nothing manager but, interviewed him. Nothing but respect for anyone that talked to fucking uh, Castro. I bet she uh, went down on Castro. Yeah. What do you think, Ian? I think so. Unclub. Google it. I, I, I like uh, Norton's manager, by the way. Yeah, he's I, great, I right? Your studio. Uh, yeah, Jonathan rules. Uh, uh, you know, I, I, no, I, I think if I have my choice, I'd, I'd go down on Aniston. I mean, just getting right. down on Walters, man. I, I mean, I don't know, man. She's hey, Ian, before I let you go, what do you got on um, Tiger Woods and the sex rehab? Is it going well? Is it is it just a smoke screen? What's your thoughts? What are you hearing? Well, it's his last shot. He's only doing it to try to get back together with, uh, you know, pass things up with his Swedish bombshell. And uh, they're, they're going through all the motions, but it's never going to last, that, that marriage. You know, again, a, a sex addict, as uh, Norton could tell you, as Anthony could tell you, it's always two steps forward, one step backward. Yep. And, uh, you know, they're toast. They, they were saying on TV over the weekend it takes five years to cure a sex addict. You can't cure. There's no cure or, or for maybe, it. Or but... maybe the maybe the word, uh, or get it to a place where it's manageable. Maybe. Yeah, like... People come out, like all married men, we're just a bunch of horny fucking bastards, you know. And the bottom line is, once you, even if you get someone like this chick, this Swedish chick, she's hot as hell, still we're never satisfied. So why even bother getting married? Like they say, it, it, every, it is right. Every man would love to be in Wood's situation. Going every man, man. Having man. the party of his life. Yeah. Two steps forward, you slip on a load. <laughs> so, so what did we learn uh, from Ian Halpern today? Jennifer Aniston's box might, box might probably smell. stinky. And that uh, this the hills. plastic sheets or something. Plastic sheets, yeah, you didn't explain that, Ian. The paper said plastic oh, sheets. Shit. What is she into if she's got uh, a maid finding plastic sheets? Is she taking some kind of fat-burning pill at night? This is Angelina we're talking about. That that was in the paper today, too. Yeah, look, again, I wasn't in the bedroom, so I'm reserving comment because my stuff has to be based on firsthand information. You know what? Uh, you know, the bottom line here is I, 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 I say she's had women coming in and out of her bedroom the last few months. I have, I've heard rumors about this guy, but I haven't confirmed them, so I really don't want to comment. Thank God, and that's why Ian's so good because a lot of people want to fucking, you know, prove you wrong, but so far... So far, they can't, Ian. And I'll tell you, in the next few months, I'm going to make another major prediction on, on your show exclusively to you guys. I'm working on it right now. Oh hell. After you talk to the insider and everybody way, else. I have something good for you right now. Oh, no. If, if you can do it. I, I, I don't know. I could give your producer his number. But you know who first told me that they're going to split? Remember that crazy judge in the Anna Nicole Smith case? We should give him a call. He'll talk to you right now. I have his phone number. Remember Larry Seidlin? Oh, Larry, who Larry, uh, Larry, who there was the rumors that uh, him and the lawyer were having homosexual stuff and he, that they sued the author? Yeah, the whole whatever. The, remember the crying <laughs> judge in Anna Nicole Smith case? Uh, I don't. Yeah, vaguely. That's such a current story. I appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, I see him right there. <laughs> Bald headed guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy. I remember Larry. Yeah, he'll confirm everything. He, he's the first guy who told me. He, because he, he was an expert in Florida on um, family courts, and he examined them for me for my book and said based on they have every symptom of a couple that's falling apart. Oh, wow. You got anything on Watergate? Watergate, hey. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Uh, <laughs> Jordan wrote uh, from Scranton again. He, he goes, LOL. I wasn't in the bedroom, so I'm reserving comment, but all of my sources tell me Brad wouldn't chow down on our box. Google it. Google it. <laughs> Google it. Yeah, well, that's what Aniston, Aniston <laughs> the same uh, voice. access to her camp, and she made the mistake, because as, uh, Opie, I don't know if he knew this or not, I, I don't know your relationship with Aniston, Opie, but the bottom line is, Aniston's friends, several of them told me that, that he well, just, re- you I, know. I finger-popped her once, uh, Ian. 
Really? I, I believe you, Opie. I, I said you're better looking than Brad Pitt. I've met both of you now. All right. And you, you, you definitely have uh, one. All right, relax. Up, as far as the, 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 She's got a nice ass on her, though. Goes. She's got a nice 40-year-old ass. She's 40 now, Aunt. But That's Jennifer Aniston. I'm just looking, going like, well, is it, maybe there's some kind of... Yeah, I mean, a lot of these chicks you never know. It was recently revealed that Zeta Jones, she says she's uh, 40. She's really 50. They lie, no, really. Google, they lie about no, really. Constantly in Hollywood. Google yeah. date of birth. It's right there. I lie about my age, but only by two days. says he's like 35. He looks about 25. Oh. No, I'm 41. I'm July 19th, but I always say July 17th just to be cheeky. Oh, there you go. You're a cancer, Norton. I certainly am, yes. Cancer Norton. Very smart people. Well, we're also homebodies, and we're attached to our mothers. And uh, we tend to do well with other cancers. And uh, we tend to, uh, you know, there's a lot of, I don't really believe in uh, Horace Ghost, but I guess yeah. I kind of fit the bill. Hold on, Ian. You got fans calling in. We got cigars and scotch. Uh, cigars. Hey. As much as Ian sounds like a gossipy Buffalo Bill from Silence of the Lambs, he's really starting to grow on me. Uh, yeah, you're turning these people uh, around, Ian. They hated you at first. I think well, I got it. Again, it's not a popularity contest, but look, let me ask you guys all a question. <laughs> uh, be about pussy. up into your studio right now, butt naked. Who is not going down on her right now, if you had the choice? Wait, wait who? Aniston? Aniston? No, Jolie. Oh, yeah, no, that's a no-brainer. I'd go down on her if she had Magic Johnson's dick in her. <laughs> <laughs> she did once. Google it. Google it. Google it. Funny you should say that. My source is just saying. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to email Aniston and tell her she, she needs a night with uh, Anthony. That's, that's what it. might shake her up a bit. That'll test it out. I'll say. I'll uh, put some smell sensors or yeah. something around. What do you got on? Uh, all right. I, I guess you're done. When, when are you going to give us this big exclusive af, uh, after you yeah, talk to everybody else? I'm working on it, but I'll make the next prediction on your show. How about we hint? No, I, I can't give a hint because then we'll have two other, uh, 200 other journalists chasing the same story. Gotcha. You're, you're a smart man. All right, you sir. Know. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Thank you, guys. Uh, you know, Baruch Hashem, have a great day. And, uh, uh, did we wake you up? Uh, no, I'm, I'm just about to take my daughter to school. All right, you have a daughter? You're like a nice father and all that? Yeah, man. Well, she, um, she, she can sing. She's eight years old, and she's an amazing singer. Yeah, uh, she just signed a contract. Look it up. <laughs> you know, and uh, that's my life, you know, parenting and... Uh, you know, and fucking uh, celebrities' like lives. Life is parenting and pussy. I'm, I'm totally different. You know, yeah. I, I'm just looking for the right woman. Where are you calling I'm from? Good. I know I'm. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to have 300 people show up right outside my door right now. <laughs> really? You know, it's enough. I'm so far from you guys. I'm walking the streets and people are stopping me, telling me they they hear me on Opie and Anthony. Yeah. I mean, it's radio for fuck's sake. I know. Exactly. Get, the fuck. Get us that TV show. We. My, my whole <laughs> undercover persona is going right out the window with you guys. Yeah. It certainly is. <laughs> All right, Ian. All right. All right. Good talking Have to you, man. Guys. All right. Okay. Peace Take it easy. Peace. Peace out. Google it. Love you. <laughs> Fucking Just Google it. That fucking guy. Dude, I, I, I'm going through the Aussie <laughs> book because we have him tomorrow. Yeah. I'm fucking laughing out loud. Just reading a story about how he had to shit and wipe his ass with curtains in someone else's house. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jesus. Was that cleaning it out? Dude. It's Jennifer Aniston in yeah, a pool. in a pool. And she's kind of on the edge of the pool and floating a little bit and... I don't know. I can't see how. I well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Something's up with her because she wants to be married and have a kid, and she just can't find a. Every so, guy up with her, tosses out of the wayside. Every guy seems to. Hey, we're talking about something really cool here. Get your sweetheart a real great Valentine's Day gift. Google it. Actually, go to IHateStevenSinger dot com and you'll read about everything that I said about these wonderful gold roses. Good. Uh, 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 check it out. <laughs> Freaking guy. <laughs>